Hey guys, what's up? This is Faf Boy, and welcome to my first ever Euro Truck Simulator 2 episode, video, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> welcome. Um, so, some of you, or quite a few of you, have asked me to do Euro Truck Simulator 2 videos in the past, and um, I've always said that I wouldn't do it, mainly for two reasons. One, I was going to wait until American Truck Simulator came out, and secondly, because I didn't think I could add anything. Um, that other YouTubes hadn't already done. So, what's changed? Well, firstly, American Truck Simulator keeps getting postponed, and secondly, well, that's actually three reasons. Secondly, I have this beautiful Satec wheel right here in front of me that I wanted to try out with European Truck Simulator uh, and, can, and see, check if it worked and how well it kind of fitted with the game. Um, and then thirdly, I've been trying over the last couple of weeks to do live streams and they have failed miserably once because of an encoder and the second time because I realised my internet is nowhere near good enough. So this is a payback and thank you to everyone who kind of tried to help me out and stuck with me and chatted and all of those things. So as you can see I'm a newbie level 1, I've had to start from scratch, I've done a couple of jobs just to check that the controls work etc. I've set the controls up, um, I can't remember them all <laughs> um, and I'm sure I'm going to have to change some. But Let's look for a job and we'll get started and we'll talk a bit more. Um, so my base is in Frankfurt but I'm currently in Strasbourg. Um, so we need to put it to origin as Strasbourg. Here we are, Strasbourg. Uh, three, ooh that's good, a digger. Do a digger, Strasbourg, Dijon. That's pretty good. 23 pound, even better. Pressure tank, Torton, Frankfurt, back to where my base is. Uh, yes, that one. Let's take it. Do it. So, as I said, this is set up. It's by no means the finished article. I've still got lots to do. Um, but the main thing is, obviously, steering wheel. And then the joystick here is look around. Look out whatever you want to call it, look around, up, down as well, so that works really well actually compared to Farming Simulator. Um, we've got various buttons, you know, like hazard lights and cruise control, you can change cruise control with this, parking brake, uh, up is to put it into drive, down is to put it into reverse, uh, the paddles on the back are indicators, I thought that would be the best place, so let's get started, put the ignition on, I need to allocate camera buttons for example. So here we are then. We need to turn around, I'm imagining. Yes we do. Right. So put it into drive and off we go. So let's get out on the road. See what's what. And let's try not to hit anything, hey. And uh, I haven't played European Truck Simulator in a very long time. Um, and all I can say is it, it's definitely got better. Uh, the traffic's a, a lot faster and a lot more intuitive. They still crash into you at like a thousand miles an hour. Um, so that is better in terms of it is more realistic. Um, I like it. Right, um, but what I do want to say now is I am not a trucker. I know a lot less even than I do about farming. So um, I'm here to be educated. Please don't hate on me for not knowing anything. I'm not a trucker. Please help me by constructively telling me where I've gone wrong rather than calling me expletives because I don't like that. It's mean. Why are you so mean? <laughs> but anyway, so as you can see, the steering wheel's got a little bit of a dead zone, which I'm going to see if I can get rid of. But in terms of steering, it is very good. You don't have to turn it very far once you're moving. But, um, you know, it works well in terms of um, being infinitely, infinitely better than a, uh, uh, than a keyboard. Whoa there, Billy. Um... So let's crack on, get up to speed. 
and try and talk. Although I think this route might be quite twisty as opposed to just going along um, motorways. But hey, it'll give me some time to talk uh, and talk you through how I've got this set up and what I think is good and what I think is bad. Ultimately, everything is better than, this, than the keyboard that I usually used. Um, I haven't got any mods installed except for real companies. Um, so, again, I am open to suggestions. You know, I, I want to see what you guys think I should be using in terms of uh, mods. I don't want to go crazy. You know, I don't want to have massive spreadsheets of what mods and what order and priority they need to go in or any of that. I think I'm not up to that level yet. I'm just having a play around. Do you want this to be a full series of me? You know, once or twice a week doing the next mission or do you want it to be more of uh, every now and again I show you kind of where I'm at um, I, w I do want to do a proper review of the Satec wheel in terms of farming simulator and truck simulator um, so that is on the cards Let's... why is it going so slow oh did I just hit the barrier then I think I did that's not good didn't go out far enough. Too conservative. Noted for next time. This isn't as powerful as the last truck I was in. I was usually speeding by now. <laughs> or it could have been the size of the load. So, um, going back to the wheel, I, had, like, I haven't got any of these you know, set to anything. Um, I just need to play it a bit and you know, get a feel for what's missing and what I haven't done uh, and what I haven't set up. And again, open to your ideas like as I say, cruise control, park brake, cameras, these are lights, so you know you've got your hazards, and I've got that set as beacon, which we haven't got one at the moment, and all of that sort of thing. And the horn, don't you worry. I've got that set to horn. So I can horn my way around the country. <laughs> uh, what have we got here? It's windscreen wipers, that was it. Uh, scroll through all the windscreen wiper settings. Uh, sorry, I've got to try and concentrate and talk, um, which is never my strong point. So if I have a massive accident, um, don't blame me. <laughs> I don't know who you're going to blame, but don't blame me. Uh, right. Let's try and set the... Cruise control, make it a bit easier for myself. And taking the countryside as we drive along. Um, so as I said, a lot of people have asked me for European Truck Simulator 2 before, and I know that it's very popular amongst YouTubers, and that was one of the main reasons I didn't want to kind of carry on. But I wanted to do something a bit special as we're pro approaching 800,000 views on this channel, which is unbelievable. And thank you to every single person who made up every single one of those views, because that is awesome. Um, we're also approaching 4,000 um, subscribers, which again is incredible. Um, so I wanted to do something a little bit special and also just because I failed so miserably at the uh, live stream. Um, and I wanted to kind of give something back for the guys who kind of waited around. I did a uh, viewer's choice mod video, which was my last video, if you go and have a look, um, based on tractors and what, you know, you guys asked me to do I did that's kind of the main aim of this channel is you tell me what you want to see and I will provide it um, that's kind of the way I want it to run uh, so you see it's got a bit of a dead zone and it doesn't have force feedback it's just center sprung is the only thing on here so I'd say that's the only thing missing in terms of the steering wheel compared to a Logitech G27 or something like that but in terms of obviously the buttons and the different things that you can do it, it is unrivaled unrivaled it really is good and if you can find one then I would definitely and afford one I would definitely say pick one up okay so what we've got 78 miles left two hours of driving to go ETA 2151 and it's now 1952 so we've got plenty of time to get there we're in no rush coming up to a bit of a wiggle and that's one of the main things that I prefer now is being able to brake gradually rather than standing it on its nose with the keyboard which was sometimes you do need to stand it on its on its nose 
palm it rather than use the knob. Doesn't really work as well, I have to say. Um, yeah, but I do, I do enjoy it. This is one of those titles where you have to play it to understand it and enjoy it. If you watch somebody, you know, for somebody who's not into this sort of thing, they'll see it and be like, are you serious? But once you get into it and you start building up some money, building up your trucks, doing longer distances, you know, you just get kind of sucked into this whole other world. It's like Farming Simulator and it just grabs you. I've only ever been grabbed by it once uh, and then it got white. And so I was like, oh, I'm not starting from the beginning again. Um, but yeah, I think there's going to be a point where I'm going to get sucked into it again with this steering wheel. I can feel it already. So I quite like this as, as the look around it. It works well in my opinion. Uh, much better than in Farming Simulator because that, even with the other button pressed as people keep saying, it is set to move uh, bits of equipment. So it does get a bit confusing. Right, let's look at lights, shall we? There we go. Get the lights on, otherwise we'll get penalty points, I believe, from, from memory. Oops, speeding a little bit. Slow it down. So I want to try and get this as perfect as possible. So at the end we're going, where are we going? Left. My direction, my directional sense in real life is appalling. And in this, I'm kind of glad for the sat nav. <laughs> and even still I managed to go wrong. Don't ask me how, I don't know. I'm just not very good at it. I don't have very good man nav, I'm ashamed to say. Make sure doesn't want to come in, because we don't want to be in this lane. They go a lot faster, I'm sure of it, uh, the AI, than they used to. Um, so what I do would like you guys to tell me is how you think all of this should be set up, what I should have as what. I thought about having them as gears, but as you use it so little, I was like, use it as the indicators or blinkers as you guys call them in America uh, don't know what to set these as I've got those set up to stuff that nothing twist nothing so what how do you think I should do it and kind of I've grouped together for example lights here you know hazards um, beacons uh, and light scrolling all to that these are as you can see, changing the menu display on the dash, and then their uh, parking brake camera thing, like things like that. So, how do you think it'd be set out? I want to know what you guys think. You know, in terms of realism terms, because um, as I said, I'm not a trucker, um, so I don't know. I've done what I think I should have it as, but most importantly. <laughs> How childish. Oh well. Now we're cruising. Getting close now. We're only 30 miles away. 50 minutes to go. And we will be unloading. We're going to attempt to reverse it from in cab at the end, I've already decided. <coughs> so wait and watch that because it's only going to be good. So let's have a quick look at this outside before we have a look. It looks cool. I really like it. Really, oh my god. Uh, we do want to come off here. I do hate doing that. I'm like, oh, it looks amazing. Bang! As I then crash massively into something. Uh, right, coming off here towards Frankfurt, which is not where my base is. My base is actually in Nuremberg. I just remembered that's where it was. Um, mainly because of the motorsport connections with. Nuremberg, which I think is actually a different place, but it sounds the same. <laughs> okay. Go on. Don't balk me. Good lad. Foot in. Uh, yeah, I want to come off of the next one, so we'll stay in this lane. <clears throat> oh, raining. That means I can use another button. Yes! Check me out. I'm like a professional in all. <laughs> Just on intermittent, that's right. 
Don't want to go barreling into the back of this guy. Whoa. Whoa! No need to break that hard. This is cool. I've got to say, this is cool. With the wheel, adds. Like, with the keyboard, it was just like, ugh. This is not realistic in any way. Don't think that's an overtaking lane. No. <laughs> Come on, let's pick up the pace. See if we can get past him. Might not be able to. He's got a lot more weight than me, though. Or oh, do I try and overtake? Oh, this is risky. No risk, no reward. Oh, God. Gotta keep it pinned. Gotta keep it pinned. There we go. Got past him. And now, I, and now I was speeding. But it is nice to be able to just gently bring it to a stop. Go on. Curb, but there wasn't much I could do about that. Make sure I've got the sat nav zoomed in, because otherwise I will miss the turning, there is of that, there is no doubt of that, should I say. Keep it rolling. Is he letting me go? Evidently. Why, thank you, sir. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Are those the rules on the road? That I had right of way there? Seems a bit odd to me, if it is. Whoa! And here we are at Chevron. Now we've got to try and oh, try line this up so that I get a good reversing straight angle at this. <laughs> Skip parking? How dare you? Right, let's try and do it with my head out the window. Uh, reverse. Nice and steady. Small inputs. Nice and steady. We're in no rush. Look at that! That is officially parked. What's the saying? You've officially been pimped. Oh dear, can't believe I just used that. Right, there we go. Excellent pressure tank delivered from Strasbourg to Frankfurt. Driven distance 154 miles, 3 hours 55 minutes, and 106 litres consumed. It's quite a lot. High value cargo bonus, excellent. Bonus for parking the trainer. Bonus, bonus, bonus. And there we go. I've leveled up to level two. I am now a pro. <laughs> right, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please like the video. Subscribe for more European Truck Simulator 2, as I'm sure there will be. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see more of this, or just generally more of the game? Let me know. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.